hello guys and welcome back so now in this video we will work on the shotgun script so as i told you that our code is reusable so we can use the same script as we did for the handgun but there will be some changes so first of all let's go ahead in the rifles folder and right here let's create a new c sharp script by the name of shotgun and after creating the script let's open this up right here let's remove the start and update function then what we will do is to get back to the handgun right here let's copy the variables first of all so copy it then get back to the shotgun script and paste all of the variables after the variables we need the awake and update function so this is the update function and then this is the awake so copy both of the awake and update function then write down below paste it after the awake and update let's copy the more player move so copy that then after the update let's paste it after this we need the jump so let's copy this jump and after the player move on the shotgun paste it then we have the sprint okay i am doing this one by one so that we don't get messed up in the code Okay, so here is the jump after the jump we have the sprint and then we have the shoot so let's do the shoot reload and ammo out function okay copy all of that three and after the sprint paste it that's it okay so now we have all of the functions and variables right here now if we scroll up right here the shotgun movement speed will be 1.15 all of the things will be the same right here we will make the fire charge 50 for the shotgun the gift damage will be for example 15 as well because we want the shotgun to have more damage than the handgun you can change these values according to your own game okay but i will make the values 15 and 15 for both the gift damage and fire charge then for the rifle ammunition and shooting what we will do we will make the maximum ammunition as seven because our shotgun will contain seven bullet shells then the magazines will be 10 and the reloading time for the shotgun will be 1.3 seconds and these values are according to the reloading animation time okay if you are using some other animation okay for reloading then go ahead and find your reload animation for example in my case if i click on shotgun then i have a reload animation right here and if i move this right here as you can see the shotgun values right here so you can just make the shotgun animation of your own length okay i will make this as 1.3 because i don't want the animation to be that much longer okay so after the reloading time all of the other things will be the same let me show you the update function okay there it is then we have player move, jump, sprint and everything. So these all will be the same. Now just save that script and get back to resources. And guys, make sure that you duplicate the gun animator and name it as shotgun. Okay, because everything else will be the same. Okay, the parameters. The parameter must be same as all of the previous animators. Okay because we type their name already in our scripts okay so don't mess this up or if you are using some other name for all of the parameters in all of the animator controller then that will be okay too 
just don't change the names and now we have this shotgun animator okay these animations are for the handgun okay we will be changing that but first of all let's attach the script to our shotgun so in the rifles let's click on shotgun and add the script now one by one let's add all of the things the character controller just simply drag and drop the player for the animator drag and drop the player for the camera we will drag and drop the camera then surface check then surface layer mask so we will say surface add the camera after this we need the hand so we will drag and drop the rifle holder then the player transform and we have the handgun 2 okay we actually didn't want to remove this handgun 2 because for the shotgun we don't have any handgun 2 okay so we have the handgun 2 right there remove that also right here remove handgun 2 from here as well then it is scroll down from here as well okay so make sure that you remove that as well now as you can see it is gone and now we need to add the nozzle spark so for that in the jmo asset war effects effects muzzle flash not muzzle flash i think it is fire yes and now let's try and drop the muzzle spark in there let's play to where it is it is playing somewhere right there so don't worry we will move this closer to the shotgun bullet hole okay so it is right there let's click on reset now as you can see the muzzle spark has been reset it if we play it as you can see it is playing it up there somewhere and it is a lot more larger as you can see so what we can do with this now is make the start size as 10 for example let's play it now okay it is still there yes make it one and it looks fine now okay if we play it there it is let's move it closer to the bullet hole of the shotgun right there okay move it down below then right there now as you can see it looks fine let's make the start size as 0 0.5 okay 0 0.5 is a good value as well so you can make this as 0 0.5 if you want once that is done now click on shotgun and drag and drop this muzzle spark in there now we need the metal effect so if you go inside bullet impacts we have the metal effect right there so drag and drop that in there as well then we need the ammo out canvas so drag and drop the ammo out canvas as well now the values are added now if we play the game you will notice that everything will be working perfectly fine okay now we can move as well we can aim now if we try to shoot as you can see our shotgun is shooting a lot more faster so we need to change the fire charge of it let's actually make the fire charge as one because we want the shotgun to shoot every second okay and right here where is it right here make the fire charge one i don't know why i've made that 15 i think i got a little confused there but okay change this to one and now you will notice it that it will fire one bullet each time so now here it is let's fire as you can see every second the shotgun fires a bullet okay for now we don't have any animations for our shotgun 
so what we will do in the next video is add the animation for our shotgun so catch you guys in the next one